In the quiet corners of our lives, some voices often go unheard, battles fought in silence, and hearts veiled by darkness. In the overcrowded world, people are craving for a shoulder to cry on, hand to hold on to, and an ear to vomit out all the words they have been hovering in their minds. Do you know how many people commit suicide in a year? It ranges from 15 to 74 per year on average in Europe. It's insane. A human life should not be so ordinary that it can be taken this easily, right? So here I am with a survival kit for you with which you can save a suicidal life. So stick with the video till the end. Who knows, you might end up saving someone's life. The era we are living in has the highest rates of depression, anxiety, and frustration ever present in the world. And the people who need help are one of us. It could be you, me, your family member, or a friend. Just keep your mind and eyes open, because your eye can't see what your mind doesn't know. The first step to help someone is to know who needs help, right? People having mental health issues don't often share their thoughts, as it is still considered a stigma, so you have to keep all your senses active and organised to catch such a person in your surroundings. You can identify these individuals by noticing signs such as lacking interest, withdrawing themselves from their surroundings, or having hopelessness. Sometimes, they may talk to you about it. Don't freak out. Keep your calm and listen. Just listen. They don't need advice. They just need a listener. So, be all ears. You may have experienced it in your life once. Sometimes, when another person is showing their vulnerable side, you open your wounds in front of them as well. This is because your mind thinks of them as a likeable person, and then trust develops. So, here is the key. If you suspect someone of being suicidal, talk about it. Talk about your experience. Show vulnerability. And if you have ever been suicidal, remember to talk about how you overcame it, or what they could do. Just open up your wounds a little, or come up with a story so that they can open up to you. Remember, you have to make them feel that they can open up in front of you if they need someone, because talking about suicide does wonders. Many researchers in the US and Singapore found that just talking about suicide decreases the chance of it happening. Now, once they have opened up in front of you, show empathy. Do not show sympathy. Don't say, oh, I feel sorry for you, as if they have lost their sanity or life. They are completely normal, but are suffering with a treatable disease that needs attention. Don't compare them with someone. Don't say that you understand their situation, because everyone's situation is different. Don't tell them to get over it. Do you think they don't know they have to get over it? Instead of trying to counsel them yourself, encourage them to get professional help. They often feel reluctant to go to a psychiatrist, so just take them to a physician, and once they get to know that their disease is curable, help them find a knowledgeable mental health professional. The key is to not leave them alone. Encourage their family and friends to reach out and engage them in different activities, like talking, to build trust with the people around them. Make them feel that they matter and are loved. Creating a safe environment for the affected person is very necessary so that they don't harm themselves when a wave hits. This involves removing any poisons, knives, sharp objects, harmful medicines, and potentially harmful chemicals. Not only that, 
but keep anything that can be potentially harmful away from them. It's less likely to reach out for something when you don't have the means to, right? Create an environment for them where they do not have to be alone, but ensure not to suffocate them at the same time. Respect their privacy and provide them with a safe space to breathe in. Be patient with them. Even if they are not opening up to you, it's not a problem. You need to maintain their privacy and don't force them to open up to you if they don't feel like it. Be patient with their decisions, but be consistent. Give them assurance that you are there for them whenever they need you so that they understand that you are not pushing them. Instead, it will develop trust and respect between you. Don't wait for them to initiate a conversation first. Instead, be the one to reach out. You might feel frustrated at times, but again, be patient. Last but not least, make a list of available online help centres and emergency numbers in case you need immediate help. Your words and actions can be a glimmer of hope for someone who desperately needs it. So, let us join hands in providing unwavering support to make this world a safe place for those who need it. If you have any queries or experiences that you have had in the past that you think might help someone, do share it in the comment box below. We will be looking forward to any suggestions from you. Don't forget to show us support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel to help us illuminate the world with compassion and empathy.